We only have two weeks to hit Unreal, so here is the fastest way to rank up this season. I will give you the best rank tips and show you the strategy that will get you a ton of percent each ranked match you play. So stick around. First, you have to pick a mode. For a full ranked mode comparison and breakdown of which mode you should play, click the video in the top right hand corner. Before the tips, let me thank you for clicking on this video and tell you that Jesus loves you. Tip number one is to play normal games. You may be asking, why would I play normal games instead of ranked? Well, there are two reasons to do this. Reason number one being to learn what you like. The loot pool and map will change weekly, so you will need to hop into some normal games to test these things out. This is also useful so you can learn which weapons you like and what different weapons are good for. The other reason to play normal games is to learn the map. Learning the map is crucial in both Battle Royale and especially in Reload. Playing normal games allows you to explore everywhere in the map risk-free. Knowing the chest spawns is necessary information if your drop is conned and it's a race to find a weapon. And in Reload, all the chest spawns are guaranteed, so learning those can be the difference between ranking up and ranking down. Tip number two is to rotate early. Many people W key and don't focus on where they're actually going. Rotating early is a simple thing you can do to easily rank up without being good at the game. Rotating early basically means going to a circle as soon as possible. And you can do this very simply or very complicatedly. The simplest form of early rotation is to rotate as soon as the next circle spawns in. But you can enhance this by predicting the next circle and going to the dead side of the circle. You can predict the next circle by looking at which direction the circle is pulling and going as far as you can in that direction. For example, if the circle is pulling near the top right of zone, you would want to rotate the steamy stacks. You also want to do dead side rotates and I will explain this later in the matches. The last tip is to take smart fights. Doing both of the previous tips will help you take smarter fights and taking smart fights is literally what ranked is all about. If you mindlessly take every fight you can without thinking about why you're taking the fight, or even if you need to take the fight, then you will end up ranking down and not improving. Before each fight, check to see how much shield you have, how many mats you have, if you have any movement items, how many weapons you have, and if there are any third parties nearby. In Battle Royale, you shouldn't really risk taking fights if you have a good loadout and max mats, because if you do, you just risk losing mats and health and possibly ranking down if you die. In Reload, you can push pretty much anyone you want before reboots end, and if you get a crack on them, you can easily push them and get a kill, and you don't really have to worry because you can just reboot if you die. Also, make sure that when you take fights, there is absolutely nobody nearby, so you do not get third party. Before I hop into the Reload ranked match, please subscribe and comment what rank you are right now. I'm trying to hit 7k subs by Christmas, so I really appreciate it. Alright, so as you can see, I'm Diamond 3 90%, so I should hit Elite this game. And I'm level 99, so if you want to see how I level up so fast, click the button on the top right hand corner. Alright, so we're on the bus, my drop spot is right here. And the importance of having a good drop spot in an early game is like, you really really need a good one. Because if you die off spawn, it's going to put you into a cycle of dying. Because after you reboot, people just like push you if you see someone gliding in. So really, if, if someone cons your drop, you just don't want to take it. But this spot usually, not many people con it, it looks like there's someone actually conning it right now though. There's two people conning it actually, so I'm actually not going to drop at the actual drop because if people con it, then you just risk dying and re running a bad game. So what you want to do is you want to go somewhere else nearby, probably going to go to that building over there. And this spot's also good because there's so many dunes to hide in and there's lots of floor loot. And how is there a kid over there, dude? And go to Twisted Trailers. Usually, no one is at Twisted Trailers, which is really weird because it's a huge POI that has a lot of chests, but no one goes there. And this is why I need to learn the map, because if you know the map, you can easily get good loot after you reboot, even if you do horrible. So there is a kid over there, but I think there's only one, because he probably would have gotten shot by now. Alright, so we're on the dead side of zone right now, because there's twisted trailers, and we kind of pull zones. We're probably going to stay around here, maybe we can hopefully find the guy and kill him, though. He looks like he left, because I, I don't see him, and I'm lagging. Guys, please subscribe so I can get a better PC. As you can see, this game has been super laggy. And boom, we got an auto shotgun, so... Alright, so we're gonna rotate. Looks like it's pulling right of this zone, so you want to go as right as possible. And that's what an early rotate is. You want to go whatever direction it's pulling. That's basically how you do it. And we can go dead side. Dead side basically is where no one's gonna be. And everyone's probably gonna be around in the middle, kind of in this area. So if you go around the top, you're gonna run into almost nobody. That's the best way you want to go. Well, there are kids directly in that direction, though, so it's probably just best just to not really rotate right now this kids all along the edge I want to go so is if there's kids everywhere you you want to go just wait for the next circle to pull because it could pull back toward you anyway so there's no point in rotating early all right so it looks like it actually pulled back toward me like I literally just said so yeah we can probably just stay around here there's a kid over there though maybe we can get a crack on him crack them if you crack somebody you pretty much just want to push him 
because you have reboots and stuff. But if I didn't have an auto right now, he would have just insta died. We, I just really want him to get away so I can get the supply drop, so I don't really necessarily want to kill him. I just want him to get away. Shocking out. There's two supply drops over here. That's actually kind of crazy. Usually doesn't happen. So I just grab a spot drop. This is fine with me. Oh my gosh. He literally was looking the other way and then he just turned around and sniped me. And we're getting third party, so yeah, we're getting out of here. There are the kids everywhere, dude. What is going on? We're getting pushed by pretty much everyone possible. I can't build either, which is really annoying. I don't know. Bro, I literally can't build on the river. What was going on right there? That's super unlucky, bro. Literally everyone just kind of jumped on me. So this is like the last river I have. So we gotta be very careful. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. You're too much raining. <laughs> when everybody just look for where there's like nobody around. So you probably get a good drop. Looks like this house is on. The house has been looted actually. So like if you die this late in the game, you're pretty much just cooked. So like at this point, you probably just want to camp out the rest of the game. Bro, literally we just got super unlucky this round, but the strategy that I have been using have been working, but we just got unlucky with third parties and stuff. I just gotta rotate, looks like we found some shocks. Well, shocks, as you can see, we're super good in getting in the way, but we just kept shocking the more people and people kept chasing us. But you need some kind of rotation, especially in the solos, because it's super useful just getting away and getting around and rotating to the next circle. We're gonna pick up this hammer AR real quick. So it's pulling left of this zone, so we're trying to go to left of that zone. And if you just see wooden boxes, literally, just spray it out to see if someone's in there. Because there's usually just old supply drop loot in there. Yep, just like old supply drop loot. And if every time you go into supply drop, always box up a metal. That's part of the reason I died earlier, because I box up in wood. And it's super easy to break. And metal, as obviously, is just way harder to break than wood. And But now we have a sniper, where snipers are just super good in this mode to get easy cracks and get easy pushes. Let's see where your zone is. So zone is the one left side, like I said, because that's just where zone was pulling earlier. So let's go ahead and try to go to that supply drop as quick as possible. There could be a good camping in though, so we gotta be careful. Looks like there's no one really around here. What's up there? Purple auto. I'm gonna try to get that after. There's a kid over here. I'm just gonna literally just shock out. I do not want to take any fights in this moment. There's no point in me taking any fights in this moment. And we're in a good place. So let's go ahead and bust the middle, like I said, so you don't get insta sprayed in. And we got more splashes, awesome, and a green, I mean, an uh, upgraded shotgun. So what camp in this bush, so maybe we could go up there to those old builds. Old builds are really good to find good loot. Like, as you can see, like, um, to podge up, people just leave loot in there so you can get good loot if you're shambles. So we're gonna go up here, we're gonna grab some stuff and just run back. Oh my gosh, we got a sniper. That was actually super good. Now we have max wood as well, so we can just camp in a bush. And at this point, you just want to get snipes and just play super safe until, like, top three or four. Alright, so there's only five players left for top five secret pools. The pools toward me again, but I hear people fighting over there. So hopefully, I'm gonna actually try to get a third party snipe, but I'm checking this box real quick. Oh yeah, now we have, um, I'm taking this thunder instead of like the thunder way better. And now we have some better loot right now, so we can try to get a snipe and hopefully get a, maybe even a kill with the sniper. So it looks like there's the other kid though over there, we see him. Crack him, we're gonna push that kid. If you crack somebody, you pretty much just wanna push. Gonna go into his box as he I know he's low and he's probably gonna be pressured. Go ahead and just reload real quick and then shock up again. You really want to use shocks here advantage, even though it's like a dumb play, like super easy to do, and people do it, like it's still very good against people who are low. So just box up again. Oh he's below me, he actually would have gotta come in the box. Let's reload. Right now, I don't actually like the situation anymore, but he only took like one mini though, so let's try to get pushing him a little bit. Taking a big pot. Shock up again. Oh my gosh, if I didn't fall. Bro, if we didn't like fall through the builds, I thought those builds would leave him, but I guess that wasn't the case. But we still got third place. And we didn't get any kills though, because we just got kind of pushed around the whole match, but we still should get some pretty decent percent. And there we go, we actually got an elite. Oh my gosh, 30% bro. Literally, it just shows the power of rotating early and carrying a sniper, because literally, 
Like, bro, we turned a shambles game. It was still pretty shambles at the end, but we literally went from shambles to a 30% game from getting absolutely zero kills. Now, let's hop into the ranked Battle Royale game. Alright, so as you can see, I'm only gold 2 in ranked Battle Royale because I played really a lot more, but I still know a really good strategy for ranked Battle Royale. Alright, so for ranked, you do like to land here, which has a guaranteed epic chest. This is right under the bus line, it's probably going to be really, really conned. And sorry guys, but I kind of am sick today, so if my voice sounds weird, that's probably why. So I'm probably going to land right about here at a gas station, so maybe we can find a car and do the glitch. And let's go ahead and head to Spaghetti Grotto, because right when I'm recording today, it just came out, and I haven't gone there yet, so maybe we can go there in this ring game. But the reason I like Relo a lot better is because there's way more fights, and I feel like you just got a lot more practice and improvement in Reload than you do in Battle Royale. And also, you communicate a lot more in Reload, especially when you're with your teammates, because you're constantly fighting and rotating. Yeah, that's pretty cool though, and literally you can literally see Eminem on the mountain right there, that's where he is in the Spaghetti Grotto. And uh, pretty much uh, the main way to rank up this season in Battle Royale is best by surviving off spawn. If you can survive off spawn consistently, you will also consistently rank up because off spawn kills don't give you much. So there's no point in even trying to go for kills. It's best. It's just best to try to get some good loot off spawn and play for the end game. All right, and the zone's kind of pulling south, so I'm gonna try to go to Spaghetti Grotto because I haven't been there and it's probably gonna pull that way anyway. And none of the whiplash is actually spawned in here, so we can't do the glitch. But before you go into any type of fight, make sure you have some decent mats because if you can have some decent mats while going into a fight and your opponent doesn't, you'll easily just get a super easy kill and make sure your death risk is at as and make sure your risk of death is as low as possible. All right, so we're at Spaghetti Grotto, and it looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, but there's also is people here, so gotta be very careful. The boss is still alive. So just go try to sneak around here. Let's see what happens. Crash in the helicopter. <coughs> All right, so it looks like they're fighting the boss right now. We can actually hear him. So let's go try to look for the actual player. It looks like he actually go into the hill or into the mountain from here. Which that's what it looks like. The wind turbine, so we can go straight down it. And they just killed the boss, so we can hear people over here. We're actually, I'm just gonna go up a little bit just to so have some height on them. I can't go back down. What is going on? All right, so right here, we can hear him throwing grenades. Looks like I'm just gonna try to go back down. Then maybe third party them. They're fighting. Why did this just box up this area so no one can get in? And he just took a... Just took a, uh... Thingy. What's it called? Butter potty. This guy has a minigun, apparently. There's the boss. It's actually the boss, so we know that he killed the boss and hired him. Let's see what happens. Let's camp in here right now. Oh my gosh, he just landed behind me. Yeah, there's a ton of kids here, so I think I'm actually gonna head out. It's like... They already killed the boss, so there's no point in even sticking around, so I'm going to take the rift. Because really, placement is what really matters, so we're going to go over there to the gas station. Maybe we can find a whiplash, someone do the glitch, and there's a whiplash. So I'll show you guys a glitch right now. The glitch is super easy to do. <coughs> you have to have a mouse to do it, though, and basically what you do is you go into your settings. Right here, I'll show you real quick. You go to settings, go to keybinds, go all the way down to... Gotta find it, gotta find it. Vehicles, cars, and you change the where is it the handbrake the driver brake to scroll up and i'm putting my secondary as um jump the normal jump button so i have two and basically what you do is you just face whatever direction you want to go i want to go toward blue marker so i want to go like this and you just scroll up you put you put put your th uh, mouse face down and you just rub it against your mouse pad and you go flying like that but if you go too high you literally die from the death barrier which is kind of weird so like just don't go too fast Right here, I try to go down there. It looks like there's gonna be some good loot down here. And no one usually lands there. And you also can get the helicopter, but the cars are just so good for moving around. Since we looted up this uh, POI already, let's go down to Missy Meadows. Actually, let's see where the zone pulls so we can get more loot and try to get a kill too. Let's see where it pulls. Oh my gosh, a llama. Is that an m and M's apply llama? I'm not gonna try to go too far, just to go decently far with this one. Try to go far enough to get to the llama. Well, you guys always see that said Eminem Llama. It looks so funny. This should be pretty much a perfect jump right here. 
And my thing's actually angling a lot, which usually doesn't happen. That's weird. All right, so here is the llama. We got to the llama. Let's go ahead and stop our car, actually, real quick. It literally is the Eminem llama. It looks so funny. Bruh. Oh, we got nothing special. Just the same old llama. But, like, I need to find, like, a grappler or something because I need to get a way to move around besides my car. So, like, if I wanted to go back up to there, I'm going to show you how to use this glitch even better. So, what you want to do is you want to go here. You probably want to go on, like, the edge of the hill is the best place. Or you can get a ramp like this. You can flip the ramp like that. And basically, you want to angle yourself whichever way you want to go. So, like, I'll just show you guys real quick. If I want to go straight that way, I would angle myself that way. So, if I jump straight up, it would go that way. And then I'm just going to scroll really as hard as I can with look like that. And then pretty much just go flying in that direction. And it's super easy to just move around and rotate. And it's getting super funny as well. And at this point, since I have some pretty good loot, I can just camp in the neck, like camp in dead side of zone. And pretty much just get a super high placement for absolutely doing nothing. Alright, so we literally pull zone again, so I think the best strategy right now is to go on top of this mountain over here. I'm actually going to go for this apod drop right here by that gas station because I can just get it for free. And somehow I didn't pick up the sniper earlier, the green one, but yeah, I'm going to go for that supply drop because supply drop is super good. Obviously, they drop you some good loot. Bro, this glitch is literally just so overpowered. They really need to patch it before it gets abused in more ranked games. So we landed right here as a kid. 44. Holy, why don't I only do 22 damage with a pump? This guy's probably gonna leave in my- is that my car? Oh, whatever, I get the spider free then, because he's just gonna leave. So let's get a double OG bomb. Bruh. Boom, and of course you got absolute trash. It's rocket launch, we were not gonna pick that up. Boom, Boom easy kill. So why you just don't really stay in the open, especially in higher ranks. Alright, and he had some really good loot. I'm taking this and I'm just gonna... don't really want to take this fight. Let's see. Let's do this. Switch to... Switch sheet. And I can't see it. That's awesome. Let's do it again. You know, this time we're just gonna... Get out of the car and try to snipe him real close. Let's go look at him. Guy is really low actually. There he goes. Guy hit him for 80. So I'm marking my whiplash just so I can get back in there. But I'm trying to get my that crown so I can get a crown win if I do win this game. But that's why I keep the sniper. The sniper's really just so good. He can get so much easy damage off and it's super easy to get wins. Boom, boom, boom. Dropping the minigun for the AR because the AR is hit scan now, so it's super easy to get shots. I don't know what he's doing. Let's see if I can get a snipe on him. How'd that not did how'd that not hit him, bro? What? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna use a whiplash glitch to get in the circle. Pretty simple. Boom, we're just gonna go three. Oh, I am lagging. What the heck? Three, two, one. And then we can literally just pretty much just fly wherever you want. It's still really so funny. This kid's over there though, so we're actually gonna try to back up and go the other way. This way. Kid over here. Oh my gosh, I couldn't build a what? Maybe mantle? Still don't have a grappler though, which is kind of annoying. How'd that not? I literally shot and it did not do anything. See if I can boogie bomb him actually. I'm getting third party, so I'm actually gonna try to dip actually. He's in my car, so let's go ahead and, uh, not- Oh, I'm dead. Yep. I didn't know you can do that. So let's see how much percent we got. Alright, literally 41% from doing nothing. I know it's a gold 2 game, but if you take the same strategy I did from reload by rotating early and taking dead side, uh, rotates and good fights, you'll pretty much be able to hit Unreal super easily. If you want to see how to get cracked in just an hour, click the video on screen. Subscribe for more tip videos. Jesus loves you, and I pray you have an awesome day.